Now, one of the best ways to call yourself back when you're not being your authentic self in any situation is by asking yourself, what am I trying to protect by not being my authentic self? What am I trying so hard to save? Is it money? Is it love? Is it compliment? Is it sex? What are they giving me that I can't give myself? So hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, girl, my name is Lucy. Uh, let's say to stay subscribed. We have a good time on this channel. Now, as I said by the title, I'll be talking to you guys about how to be your authentic self, like how to be your true self. I have three life changing tips and you guys i mean life changing because it has helped me grow over the years and i hope it helps you guys too now i'm not going to fluff around let's just get right into the video one thing that stands out to me about this video is the title it literally says how to be your authentic self like how to be yourself it sounds so simple when you read it it's like yeah just be yourself and people usually say that people always say oh just be yourself just walk into that room and just shine and just be yourself. It is the hardest thing to do, especially in our generation today. And you know it. And you know the saddest thing about not being yourself or being yourself is the fact that most people live like this and don't even know that they're not being themselves. You being that person that is true to yourself, you're accepting of yourself, you know yourself, you're always on top of your game. When you step into a room or into a situation or a gathering or anything, and you see someone or meet someone who isn't being themselves it's such a painful sight to watch honestly i know i've been in a situation where i have watched someone completely defy who they are and it's so sad it's like they continuously stab themselves in the back over and over and over and over and over again i feel like it's been so blended in so many people's lives that they completely lose themselves and that's what happens when you don't grip yourself you don't catch yourself on time you just completely let go of who you truly are and that is so sad my first life-changing tip what i would recommend any day anytime is to accept who you are now you cannot be your authentic self if you don't know who you are first thing is to know who you are first know yourself i have said this a lot of times and i'll keep saying it take time to study who you are study what you like your dislikes your behaviors everything your flaws everything know who you are which is the most important thing on how you can be your authentic self and show up for yourself every single day accept who you are accept yourself as you come are you the kind of person that laughs a lot are you the kind of person that has a deep voice are you the kind of person that is slow are you the kind of person that probably is feisty but feisty in a good way you're not the kind of person that was born or created with a calm spirit or you're not really as relaxed i know that i'm not really as relaxed and i'm okay with it as long as i'm not being like offensive or i'm not being arrogant or aggressive as long as i'm not doing that i am okay accept who you are accept yourself as you come your thoughts your values your beliefs respect them and accept them and be okay with it now let's know the difference there are people that come with bad behaviors there are people that have mastered bad behavior. they don't come with bad behaviors actually they master bad behaviors you hear those people say i am who i am and i can't change no that one is a problem this is how my body is this is how i am this is how my personality is not in a bad way or in a rude way or an offensive way but this is just how i am and i love and accept the way I am. That is the first step to your growth. Just knowing that my name is Lucy, I am this, this, that, that, that. I speak like this, this, that, that, that. I believe in this, this, that, that, that. This is how I love my life to go. This is how I walk. This is how I, everything. And I'm okay with it. When you know yourself, when you accept yourself, when you're confident in yourself, oh my God, that is the first step to truly being yourself now after you have that unlock you know who you are you've accepted who you are let's move on to the second life changing tip changing your mindset about image and perception this is huge let me try my best to break this down in the best possible way people have this mindset of i have to put up a, a certain image and that image has to be raised to a high standard or a high level or a high esteem do you get what i mean you always have to be a certain way you always have to be your highest and best self that is a good thing being your best self and putting your best self forward all the time that's good and where everything goes wrong is trying to live up to the image that somebody else has put up there there's one thing for you to be confident however you are accept yourself your person the way you come 
understand that yes i need to be putting my best foot forward i need to be my higher self unapologetically i always need to keep up to a certain image right that i have created for myself that is one now the second thing is to actually try to live up to somebody else's expectation or somebody else's image out there that's two completely different things the mindset of image and perception is huge do not live your life like someone is watching you on a daily do not live your life like you are being judged on a daily live for yourself whatever image that you have in your head and you want to live up to. It's an image that you have created for your best and highest self. You're trying to reach a higher version of yourself. You're building yourself. You're improving yourself. You're self-developing. That is good. Not because there is an image that you're trying to protect or an image that was already baked out there that you're trying to live up to. Don't live your life like you're in a reality TV show. Don't live your life like you have cameras and lights watching you all the time because you completely miss the plot. Let me talk about image and perception, right? We also have the part where you have to understand that for every action, there's a consequence. Now you need to accept this as part of life. Image, perception, and consequences of your actions. They tie together. Now I say this because I'm gonna give you an example right now. Everyone forms opinions, no matter how small about a situation. Everyone has their opinion about that situation, right? You walk into a gathering, there's a topic, and people are sharing their opinions. Now, are you going to be that one person to agree with other people's opinions, even if all their opinions align and yours is different in your head for that initial moment, right? Are you going to be that person that would agree with all their opinions just because it aligns and you do not want them to perceive you as a negative person, an outcast or someone who just likes drama? Or are you going to be that person to voice out your opinion? Do you see where image, perception, and accepting consequences for your action comes in? Now, if you are the person that is being your authentic self and your true self and not being a people pleaser, you'd go ahead and share your opinion. Now, the consequence of that is that they will all frown at your opinion. They will all raise their brows. They will all see you as someone who is just different or an outcast or someone who just likes trouble someone doesn't really agree with everything right that's a consequence of your action but at the end of the day how does that make you feel if it makes you feel bad then you have a lot of work to do on yourself quite frankly now if it makes you feel fulfilled and happy with yourself you are on the right path image perception accepting consequences right that is key and i hope you understood what i just said a quick summary of the second point so we're both aligned your image should be yours perception should be yours you shouldn't care how people think about you how people view you if they're looking at you through a lens if they're judging you the perception of you that matters is the version of you that you're putting out there and the one that you accept consequences is part of life you need to be okay with it 100 percent okay with whatever consequence that comes from an action that you put out there so if you voice an opinion and there's a flashback it's fine you voiced your opinion that's you being your authentic self that's you sticking by your opinions your values your beliefs 100 percent okay with it ultimately not everyone is supposed to agree with you ultimately not everyone is supposed to like you ultimately not everyone is supposed to gel with you be your friend be on good terms with you you already know that we've noted that consequences are usually something that comes to someone's mind first when they're trying to decide if they're going to be their authentic self or not and i say this because maybe someone is disrespecting you in public or something in a store or a taxi driver right and i know sometimes the mature thing to do is be quiet there are situations where you be quiet and let your silence speak loud for you there are some situations that confrontation is needed but because you're trying to not be that girl that is going to like talk in public or have voices loud in public 
you would hold back and then displease yourself just to please other people confrontation is okay it's just when it's unnecessary confrontation that's when there's a problem especially when someone is stepping out of line someone doesn't respect your boundaries or when someone is just flat out being disrespectful my third point which is also very important is surround yourself with people that allow you to be your true self you will never understand how important this is until you ask yourself the people around me every single day the people i surround myself with can i do a b c d which is my true self that i would do by myself in the house around them can i really say this around them which is truly what i think you know can i truly voice out my opinions around them can i truly wear what i like to wear can i truly eat what i like to eat can i truly drink what i like to drink around these people Am I constantly shrinking myself to fit in? Am I constantly accepting and saying yeses and always, you know, being in their favor? Are they always happy with me? Are they always smiling at me? Are they always telling me you are the best, Lucy? Oh my God, you're so easy to be around. You're so easy to talk to. Are they constantly telling me that? Well, my dear, if they're constantly telling you that, if you're constantly, you know, happy with them and they're happy with you actually not you being happy with them but if they're constantly being happy with you or if they're constantly happy with you then there's a problem <laughs> then there's a problem because there is absolutely no way no way we're humans with different beliefs opinions thoughts all of it that everyone will be happy with you i'm not saying that you're not going to be friends with someone who is not happy with you but they know your your differences healthy relationships be it romantic relationships or friendships always have differences and your partner or your friends they know the differences they know that yeah we're both two different people we can work together we don't have to be the same that's healthy friendship that's healthy relationship you can surround yourself with like-minded people that also kind of have different personalities and you still work well as long as you're both being your authentic self i know this person this is how they are do we always agree not really do we gel uh, not really but do we respect each other yes do we have boundaries do we meet in the middle yes that's healthy surround yourself with people that accept the true you accept you however you come it'll be easy for you to flow it'll be easy for you to be your authentic self it'll be easy for you to say no no is literally one of the simplest words but it's so difficult to utter, especially in situations where you can't be your authentic self because obviously you're not sure of their reaction and even if you're sure their reaction being negative you're scared that their reaction being negative would affect you negatively that is such an uncomfortable situation to be in you see lucy she's a nut job you see lucy she's crazy she can be mad sometimes but i love that girl that is what i call true love whether it's in a romantic relationship whether it's in friendship love is when you can be who you are how you are how you come they might not be okay with you they're not willing to change anything except the negative side they can help you grow from it but ultimately they accept and love you however you are people that see your flaws call you out on it but still hold your hand and walk you through growth and now there's also this fear of not finding the people that would love you the way you are i want to tell you today no matter how you come whether you feel like you're the most ratchet person your attitude isn't baked properly you don't fit in you don't this you don't that it doesn't matter how you come it doesn't matter how you look it doesn't matter what your attitude is how awkward or creepy you might look or how you sound how slow you are how fast you are how aggressive but not in a bad way you are you will always find your people you will always find someone who is going to accept you for how you are you're always going to find your pack now one of the best ways to call yourself back when you're not being your authentic self in any situation is by asking yourself what am i trying to protect by not being my authentic self what am i trying so hard to save is it money is it love is it compliment is it sex what are they giving me that i can't give myself now one thing you need to also understand is whatever it is that they're giving you as long as it's material you can get it for yourself you can work hard and get it for yourself and when you disrespect yourself over and over again by shrinking and hiding your true self 
in every situation every gathering and molding to other people's expectations of you you kill your happiness over and over again i hope this video was helpful let me know if you learned a thing or two in the comment section below follow me on instagram if you're not following me already subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed try leave me a thumbs up share this video to anyone who you'd like to watch thank you guys so 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 much and i will see you in my next one bye